What's up everybody, Pete Pardo here from Sea of Tranquility. Welcome to pick number 11 of my favorite 30 albums of the 70s countdown. We're doing it all month here in October 2023. 31 days in the month. We're picking out our 31 favorite albums across all music genres. It's all up for grabs. I'm only doing one album per band or artist, but you are more than welcome to do more than one if you so choose. Today for this pick, number 11. It's the fourth studio album by this British band, released November 21st, 1975. Recorded at a bunch of places, Trident Studios, Olympic Studios, Rockfield Studios, Lansdowne Studios, Sam Studios, Roundhouse Studios, and Scorpio Sound Studios, all in the UK London area, produced by Roy Thomas Baker for EMI Electro Records, A Night at the Opera by Queen. Yes, indeedy. Got a little slice of... Straight ahead rock, theatrical rock, big, heavy, hard rock, almost proto-metal stuff on here as well. Pop music's on here, a little bit of progs on here. It's got a little bit of everything on this album. A little bit of everything. Of course, this is the classic, legendary lineup of Queen, which, of course, is uh, Freddie Mercury on lead backing vocals, piano, Brian May, electric guitar, Lead and backing vocals, acoustic guitar, John Deacon, bass guitar, electric piano, backing vocals, Roger Taylor, drums, percussion, lead and backing vocals. What's on this album, you might ask? Well, I would think everybody probably knows by now, but this is uh, an album that's really kind of tracked very interestingly. The, the, the way the album is sequenced, it just, you don't get too used to one style of music before they hit you with something completely different. Got Death on Two Legs dedicated to who that two is, we don't know. We're still waiting, still waiting, Freddie. That's a snarling heavy rocker to start off the album. Then you got Lazing on a Sunday Afternoon, right? This kind of whimsical, very burlesque type of thing, right? They're very, they did a lot of this kind of stuff, especially in the early years. Uh, I'm in Love with My Car, Roger Taylor song, sings it as well. Good melodic rocker, right? You're My Best Friend, John Deacon song, great pop song, John Deacon. Knew how to write a good, catchy song. Love the electric piano in this. Just a great guitar solo from Brian. Great song. Great single. 39, Turn It Over to Brian May. Good kind of acoustic song. Really hooky, very catchy. Always love the uh, guitar chords used in that. Great song. Sweet Lady, another furious rocker. This is also a Brian May song as well. Then you got the Seaside Rendezvous. That finishes off side one. Over on side two, you got the heavy, crushing proto metal stomper the prophet song love the prophet song love that riff it's so heavy crushing love it love of my life gorgeous song another gorgeous pop song what a tender vocal from freddie it's one of my favorite uh, vocal performances from just absolutely amazing uh then you got more whimsical stuff with good company and then of course the epic the legendary bohemian rhapsody what more needs to be said about that one of the most groundbreaking songs of all time one of the most uh popular classic rock songs ever right and then of course the instrumental take us out the arrangement of god save the queen it's a great album it's got a lot of everything on it that's one of the reasons why i love it so much immaculately produced and just so groundbreaking for the time how about the charting positions australia number one austria number nine canada number two dutch charts number one Finnish charts, number one, France, 16, Germany, number five, Japan, number nine, New Zealand, number one, Norway, number four, Sweden, number 10, UK, number one, and here in the States, number four. Pretty cool. Then, you know, with the various reissues, it kept, keeps popping back up in the charts. 2007, number 23, 2011, uh, and that was uh, Portuguese. Uh, in 2011, Belgium charts number 96, Spain number 55. 2018, back on the Irish charts, number 86, U.S. top albums number 41, probably coinciding here with the uh, release of the Bohemian Rhapsody film. Uh, and then back in 2019, also Belgium charts 59, Italy, Sal, we made it, number 33, Swiss charts number 69. And then the certifications, we got a lot of them here. Australia, gold, 20,000 units sold. Argentina, platinum, 60,000 units sold. Um, also went platinum again in Argentina when they did the Hollywood's Records reissue, which is uh, this one that I have in my hand right here. Another platinum seller. Uh, Austria, 
gold, 25,000 units sold. Belgium, gold, 25,000 units sold. Canada, triple platinum, 300,000 units sold. Denmark, platinum, 30,000 units sold. Uh, the re-release also went platinum again in Denmark. Finland, gold, 20,000 units sold. Germany, platinum, 500,000 units sold. Italy, platinum, 50,000 units sold. Japan, platinum, 250,000 units sold. Netherlands, double platinum, 200,000 units sold. New Zealand, double platinum, 30,000. Poland, double platinum, 40,000. South Africa, gold, 25,000 units. Spain, gold, 50,000 units. UK, platinum, 300,000 units sold. And here in the States, triple platinum, 3 million copies sold. Pretty remarkable, right? This was uh, this was you know the, the big hit they were waiting for, and that did it. Uh, we got any? Let's see what we got on the singles releases here. Uh, Bohemian Rhapsody with "I'm in Love with My Car" on the, on the flip side, released October 31st, 1975, just a couple months after the album actually came out, and uh, June 18th, 1976, the following year, "You're My Best Friend" released as a single. So yeah, there we have it. A Night at the Opera from Queen. Let us know what you think of this album below. Nuke is a big fan. Right, Nuke? You love this album, right? Of course you do. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Visit us on the web at www.seatranquility.org. We're on Facebook, we're on YouTube, all together, all the damn time. Please subscribe if you haven't already, and click on that notification bell so you get alert of all of our content as it posts. And please do hit the like button before you leave. Also, down below, we got the links to our Ko-Fi page, our channel donations, our merch page, and our Cameo page. So thanks in advance for all your support there. And we'll see you real soon here with more stuff. I am P. Pardo. Thanks for watching, everybody. Tune in tomorrow for pick number 10. Till then, have a good one, everybody. Take care. Bye-bye.